Hello, children! My name is Ilya2, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4 with Integralist Brazil. Yes, in the last episode, we began our push up into North America. As you can see, all of Central America is now under Brazilian control, but except for El, El Salvador, because they are a glorious Axis member. We've also pushed up the Caribbean islands. The Antilles over here took over Puerto Rico, taking over uh, the Dominican Republic in Haiti and Jamaica. Now, I would also take over Cuba, but I'm kind of scared because Cuba, I'm assuming they have more, yeah, 14 to 17 soldiers. Not going to focus on that. I don't think my paratroopers can take that down very, very well. I'm just going to focus more on Mexico over here because Mexico they're pretty weak for their size. Yeah, only 30 to 64. That's, we already have more here. Um, United States, though, since they are bordering, and I know Mexico will join the Allies, they're just going to send all their troops down to Mexico to help the, help the battle, help the war. This may be hard. Now, I should probably wait, shouldn't I? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to wait, wait it out, start... Building up some more infrastructure. Um, do you guys even have... Yeah, you do have enough supply. Okay, that's surprising enough. Because we can't actually actually recruit anymore. We need to wait for these weapons to finally be updated. So we're just going to wait along for that. Now, what else do we need? We need more steel. Wait. I think, I think it'll be fine. Exporting a lot of steel. That's stupid. Here. Uh, Germans, give me stuff. We good? We good with resources? Yes, we are. All right. Awesome. We're going to have to have a lot of advanced artillery as well. Like a lot of it. Jeez. All right. So our war with the Soviets seems to be going very well. Seems to be. Seems to be. Not, uh, not guaranteed, though. The Siamese Empire. Are the Siamese part of the Axis? Yes. Good job, Siam. Or Siamese. You know what I mean. So. Ooh, the fall of Kiev. Ooh. That is good for us. Yes, the Axis is pushing. If we can take down the Soviet Union, that'd be amazing. Though I think we should focus more on the little guys like Yugoslavia, Greece, and stuff like that. Turkey is having quite a hard time here. Uh, they're about to lose Istanbul. Sucks for them. Now, I think... We may be able to pull some people off of this gigantic de defensive line. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Ooh, night vision. That's going to help. It's going to help a whole bunch. Alright, and also let's get improved infantry equipment. Oh. The battle? Uh, they lost convoys. I don't even know how they have convoys over here. Why are they moving there? Why Wouldn't Australia just be going from here to here? I don't understand. Because we've taken over the Panama Canal, so... You know. Alright. Now, Cuba... Uh, I want to take you over, but pushing through this with 20,000 is going to be bloody, wouldn't it? And then America is obviously going to help out. You know what we could do though you know let's just try out some of these invasions just oh wrong buttons let's just invade these bahama the bahamas you know take them out be nice and easy there are no units assigned uh yes there is go there we go all right now everyone get back And then keep on keeping on. All right. Then we're going there. Wait, what? It's not a valid province? Yes, it is. There we go. You can also launch that whenever you want, I guess. We have air superiority? No, we don't. In fact, who's up here? Oh. oh no, just transports. Okay. I guess those are just transport planes then. Oh, hey. There are actual soldiers there. Did not realize that. And we lost one. 
Oh no. That is no bueno. Well, let's try and make sure they're at full organization next time, because I didn't even expect them to have any soldiers there. I really did not. <sighs> okay. Oh, and also, we want to cancel that. And then we're going to want another one. Go to the British. The British. Be the British land. Enemy ships present. 84 to 104. Ha! Huh. Never mind. So, you know, this plan. Yeah, yeah, this plan. Cancel that. All right, advanced computing. That's going to help because now we can get decryption. And encryption. But mostly decryption. How's resistance? Resistance is great. I mean, it's not great. It's bad. A lot of resistance. We're going to spend a lot on the harshest forms here. We want it all. We want all your factories. All of it. And oh my god, we have a lot more factories now because of that. Should have done that sooner. Jesus. All right, let's get ourselves some more guns. More guns. More guns. Yes. And we're going to need a lot more steel now. So, uh, give me steel. And now... Let's just cancel all of this. Can we cancel all of this? We want to focus on rebuilding all this crap. Did I not tell you... Wait, who's up here? Yeah. You guys, you guys got to get up down there in Ecuador. Why aren't you moving fast enough? Come on. Go, go, go. Still need rubber. All right, well, Germany's collecting rubber somehow. I guess they're building rubber? Wait a second. How do we? How are we getting rubber if they have a closed economy? I thought they had a closed economy. No, they have free trade now for whatever reason. All right, so all this steel, stop that. We will import it from Germany because we want the Germans to have all of our stuff. Also, we can depend on Germany more than we can depend on the Soviets. So, yeah. All right. Where can you guys drop? No, you guys can't drop there. Although, you can go from here. Let's return you home. Turn you home, get you up near Mexico. It's taking a while for some reason. Weird. Whatever. Oh, and we have more dockyards, so that means more subs. Oh, now we need more oil and stuff. Yay. All right, Venezuela, give me more stuff. Germany, more stuff. We buy a lot more from them, so um, we're gonna close trade with them. And Venezuela, give me more. Good. Venezuela, what the heck? Do we not have any more? Oh no, we still have some uh, civilian factories, so it's cool. It's taking them so long. Weird. All right, that's all 19 of them. Uh oh, wait, are we getting bombed? No. Why were the transport planes bombing? Whatever. Alright, so now we want to get this dude and. Eh, San Salvador. No. Oh, right. We need our planes over there first. Get over to San Salvador. Or El Salvador. S San Salvador in El Salvador. Yeah. Venezuela can't produce anymore. There we go. What do we need now? Oil. Nope, don't need oil. All right, now San Salvador. We're going to land. Ooh, we can land pretty far back. Let's land at that victory point. BT dubs, all of you are assigned. All right, how's the guns? Ooh, we are getting close to finishing up all of those guns. All of the upgrades. The best of the best weaponry. Alright, close air support effort. Done. Let's get naval bomber 
I guess that's what NAV is. Hmm. You know what? Let's unassign you guys. Assign you guys back to him. That's 20, 20 soldiers more. And you all, all of you, everyone. Not there. There. Just assign there. Oh. All right. I really need this to work. That's why I'm so cautious about this. They don't have a lot. They don't have a lot defending. That's for dang sure. But we need a lot defending. And how's resistance in the Caribbean? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Is everyone prepared? Oh, no, stop. Right. Is everyone... Do we get preparedness? We don't get preparedness. Hello, let's exercise. Yeah. Make you strong. Strong like the bull. In fact, how are paratroopers? They're good. Could they be better? No. Combat width at 20. And their soft attack's amazing. Wait, 195 soft attack? Yeah, it's actually... Their soft attack is better than infantry, so I should probably create just a ton of paratroopers instead of... Infantry. Oh, wait. So does that mean they're even better now? Wait. Let's just... Oh, their combat width is smaller now, so let's increase that. Oh, combat width is really tiny in this. Oh, wow. Didn't even notice that. Can we get artillery? All right, that, that creates 20. It's 19. So the ups to the defense, breakthrough, hard attack goes up, soft attack goes up massively. So does HP. Organization goes down. Yeah, we have plenty of other things. Yeah, let's do that. Now, all right, let's save that. Now, if we replace these guys with paratroopers, all right, defense goes down, breakthrough goes down, recovery rate, HP, organization, and soft attack go up. No, we're not, we're not going to change that then. Okay, so paratroopers are better in some points, but worse for defense. They're good in attacks, which is all I ask of them. All right, so now... Um, no, not night vision. Get encryption. All right. And nothing else. Now we just wait up. Ooh, we're almost done. Almost done. Just a couple more ticks and we'll, we'll be done with weapons. Finally. Infantry equipment. Then we can start moving on and building more police so all of these areas can finally be secured. Ooh, this fall of Sevastopol. How far are you? Oh, you they've conquered all of Ukraine. That is really good. That is really, really good. Of course, Soviets over here have been conquering quite a bit of Japan, but the Soviets over here are losing horribly. And this is where the Soviets, this is where it all matters. Oh, and Turkey. Ugh. It is an all-out world war since everyone's at war now. Now, another thing about America. They have a lot of airplanes, right? Yeah, like I said before, way too many airplanes. And they're probably way better than our crappy little level 3 ones. So... I'm gonna have to focus a lot. If I ever want to drop a nuke, because I'm assuming I'm gonna want to drop a nuke on the United States if I if it takes that long. I'm assuming it's gonna take that long. It, it's probably gonna take the rest of the freaking game to take down the U.S. But yeah. And how many soldiers have they got? 353 to 424. Oh god, they have so many more than us now. Uh, do we have enough military equipment now? Uh, yeah, I would say so. The fall of Hong Kong. Oh, that doesn't really matter. It's right down there. Um, I'd say, can we start creating more police? Yes. Okay, another 20 for Central America. Actually, can we assign that? No. We have to assign that right there. 
And then how many more? Paratroopers are really going to be pivotal, pivotal to this entire invasion. Another 20. Right there. How long are these guys going to take? Mm, they're going to take a while, aren't they? It's 5th of December, yeah. And how long are these guys going to take? 15th of Jan... Well, 15th of January? I mean, heck, we don't even need them to be trained. We just need them to be a thing. So I guess it's fine. And Goku has capitulated. Okay, good. Now we're also going to want all of these guys somewhere else. Right here. Instead, go to Mexico. Mexico, what are your airplanes like? They have a lot. They actually do have a lot. However, I would hope that we have better fighters. Hopefully the fighters can really help out. In fact, if we look at this, take these fighters and do interception while these guys just do air superiority. Yeah. And then, how many, how, yeah, how many do I have in reserve? A lot. We have a lot of normal fighters in reserve. Just put a ton of uh, inner war fighters in there. And then they can join the fight as... Oh, they can do kamikaze strikes. No, those are just ships. Screw the ships. More interception. Just intercept as many as possible. Close air, close air support 2 is finally done. Get the third one. It's only going to take a month to do. Alright. So it's all just up here. Um, You're all part of that. Oh, hey. Totally forgot, the garrison also needs to be in Panama Canal. So yeah, focus on that as well. Alright. We're getting close. Close to the day that we finally declare war. Oh wow, you guys are horribly attritioned. Um, if we pull you back to uh, here... Like these transports, pull back. Oh no, they're horribly attrition because they're in training, right? No, um. In fact, let's just. Yeah, just move back. Standing by. Good. Good, 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 good. I was about to say, like, why are they all crappy? No, wait, they're just training. Oh, some of these guys are green. That's not good. I mean, how are they green? Maybe it's because they lost a lot. I don't know. Like, in attrition. That would happen. That does happen, by the way, if you don't know that. Alright, how's the war? Stop for taking over Denmark, though. But we are... Oh my god, Germany. Good job. They're destroying the Soviets. The Soviets are going to fall. The Soviets are very distracted, as you could tell. Looks like Japan's kind of getting screwed over here. But if the Soviets... They're not focusing enough over here, so they're kind of getting... They're, they're going to die. They're definitely going to die. And it seems Yugoslavia somehow is holding on. Somehow. Turkey is getting squished. The great battles for the freaking... Africa is getting destroyed. There's like, so many different little pieces. And America, of course, is just sitting back and relaxing. <sighs> and I'm going to have to deal with them. I wonder if they'll send troops. I know I have Venezuela, Peru, and um, El Salvador on my side. But they've given me all their troops. Yeah, they only have six and nine on their own. So, kind of screwed there. Uh-oh. Let's um boost popularity in Venezuela as well, just in case... Want to keep them fascist. Want to keep them nice and fascist. Moscow. Ooh, they're getting close to Moscow. Although winter is coming in, so attrition may hit them like a bus. It's weird how that doesn't happen in this game. Like, the reason Germany fell was because of the Russian winter. But 
that doesn't happen in this game. Even though they're reaching winter time, it doesn't, it won't matter at all. Russia or Soviet Union is going to fall apart. They've lost the Ukraine, lost Eastern Poland. The German Reich will claim most of that land and be strong. Very, very strong. All right, close air support three now. Let's get, let's start getting, well, first of all, I want to get that strat bomb, strat bomber. And now let's change close air support one to close air support three. Cool. That's going to cost us a lot more oil. Oh boy. Whoa, 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 too close. Wonder how much land Japan's going to take from this. How the frick did the German Reich take Bengal? I, mean, I guess they gave them control of that land? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, they're holding out Moscow. Although, it seems... Oh, Japan has men in here. That is weird. That is very weird. Uh, I could join. Yeah, sure. Let's just join in. We're now enemies with the, with the uh, common turn, which is fine. It's not like they're going to focus on Brazil. Alright. You guys are done. Let's get you guys in with them. We're going to want to secure this whole area. All of you. All of you are assigned, by the way. So spread out. Be prepared. All right. Encryption is done. Not done with decryption, though. Let's get better construction. Are we done with training? Almost. Almost done. That's going to be a 25% increase in strength. And that's important. That is very important for us. Now, they will probably have people there. That's fine. What I'm planning on doing is cutting them off like this, just in half, so that all these people will die. Oh, let's get Doctrine. Right. I need Doctrine. Very bad, because my fighters are probably horrible. Probably. Uh, we are completely done with infantry equi equipment, but not advanced artillery. Maybe we could change it up. Yeah, probably go to advance artillery, help them out. Can we start recruiting more men? Let's find out. Yes. All right, another 20. 30. Ooh, we're going good. 40. 50. 60. 70. Let's, let's go all the way to 70. All right. Can't go 70. Let's just do 60. 60 more brigades. All with uh, infantry equipment, equipment too, which is fine and dandy. I can deal with that. And plop them down there. The more soldiers, the better. Which, of course, is always true. Seriously, pushing through Mexico is going to be hard. I mean, th really, once I declare war on Mexico, the fight with America begins. All right, guys. Oh, how's the resistance? Resistance is basically non-existent in Central America now. Good. Very good. Can't cancel repairs, but they're going to attack. Whatever. They're, they're going to constantly blow up factories in the, in the Dominican Republic. I can't get people over there unless I para drop them, which I guess is the, a possibility. Nah, I'm not going to do that. All right, come on. When are you going to finish up? Very, very very close just mm, oh, probably a week left and then you'll be regulars come on now why don't I train up this 102 army well mostly because that'll destroy my supply absolutely annihilate it so I'm just gonna focus on these little guys all right you're done you're, yeah make sure you're both aggressive be aggressive be be aggressive all right. How's the supply? Supply is completely okay. 
somehow is completely okay up here. I don't know. I don't know how. All right. So now we're finally going to justify a war. Only going to take five days. I, I think that's what it says. And hopefully we can win this. All right. So also, once you're done there, create a line like this. All right. Let's do this thing. It's gonna. It ain't no thing, but a chicken wang. You know what they say. All right. Come on, come on. How much longer? Oh, it's, it's gonna take ten days. Wow. So the thirtieth of October is gonna be gonna be Halloween when we declare war. What a great way to start off the holidays, huh? Hi huh, everybody. I'd say Halloween is the first holiday of the holiday season. All right. Let's go to war. Everyone launch. Ooh, and it is amazing battles so far. Yeah. Very good battles. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wait, did we lose them already? Dang, we lost a couple. What? What? They're all dead. All my paratroopers just died. Okay. No, that's a thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. I, d I don't know how that just happened. Did I do something wrong there? I mean, maybe they just didn't have enough transport planes? I don't know. How's the air? We have complete superiority. Wait, so there, where's their air force? It's weird. All right. Well, push on. Yeah. Oh wow. This is very easy right now. Once the Americans come in, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be hard. Oh no, the Americans have already come in. So far, it's pretty easy. All right. Expeditionary forces coming in. All y'all. Wait. All of y'all. Better be ready. Oh, I can't even detect where they are. Right here. Yeah, join up. Mm. Well, we're pushing at least. Here. Then after that, that's going to be the goal. Now we're going to have to destroy them. Like, absolutely destroy them. Like, absolutely no mercy. No mercy whatsoever. We're gonna need someone in there as well. Right, cruiser effort done. Let's get ourselves capital ship effort. All right, and we have taken what I was what I would assume to be a good line. We have completely surrounded them, cut them off supplies. Uh. Wow, Mexico's trying to land there for whatever reason. Let's attack them. Let's just slaughter them. Oh, we're, we're doing it. Somehow. America's failing. We've absolutely crushed the Mexican army, and now it's really up to America to defend. Yep, yeah, and there they go. Alright, everyone... Once you take that, boom, everyone's assigned. And we have an amazing line. What? How many soldiers? 27 to 42. 261 now. So we're actually very powerful, I'd say. Very powerful since we also have Peru and Venezuela's army. I'd say we're pretty close to, to the same amount of soldiers. Probably. Probably. We don't have inferior enemy, which sucks. We did just lose basically everyone. All the paratroopers just died. Gonna get 20 more. Hopefully hopefully that helps. Uh-oh, are we getting attritioned? We may be getting attritioned. It's only four. Oh, we had eight infrastructure in Guatemala, dear God. 
Maybe that's why we can support so much. But you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes. So, successful first part of the invasion. We've taken over the Yucatan Peninsula. And we've begun the push into Mexico. Next phase, take over Mexico City and a couple of their major victory points. And hopefully after that, we can push all the way to the United States border. And begin that war. That, that'll be quite the battle. It's good we have air superiority. But anyways, this is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya 2, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.